Hello everyone, we're back for another Reading Impact, and this time uh, I know that I have to work on reading this article for the discussion that I'm going to have in class. So of course, uh, today I have my Impact book, and I also have the different pins and highlighters that I will use for reading. But this time, because I'm going to be preparing for my discussion, I also tried to design a good note-taking system for discussion. So when I read, I'm going to write the words that I need to know for discussion here. I'm going to write my research notes here. And finally, I'll make some bridge notes for my ideas here. Then, during the discussion, I will take notes about my friend's ideas, and I will also think about the good points and bad points of everyone's ideas. Uh, I don't know if this is the best notes system. So I hope some of you will also try and make some note style sheets and share them with me and with the other students in your class. Well, let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is take my ruler, just because I like straight lines, and I'm going to take a blue pen, and I'm going to have a very fast read of the article, and I will mark the words I don't know. Let's begin. Did you know that almost 7,000 different types of animals are endangered? I don't know about that. Fortunately, there are some amazing wildlife conservation projects around the world. So I want to check the word fortunately and conservation. Thanks to conservation projects, giant pandas are not endangered anymore, but they still need our help. There are now 1,800 pandas in the wild. Wild? This is black, so anyway, I'll underline it. The panda population. Population. The panda population is growing slowly. 30% of the world's population of giant pandas lives in the Sichuan giant panda sanctuaries. Sanctuary. In China. These sanctuaries are famous for their work with giant pandas and other endangered animals, including, including snow leopards and red pandas. Snow leopard. This must be kind of an animal. There are seven nature reserves in a very big area of land in the sanctuaries. Nature reserve. Here, giant pandas can live safely in the wild. Their favorite food, bamboo, grows in the forests around the mountains. Forest. 
increasing the giant panda population increasing the giant panda population is a very important part of the sanctuary's conservation work oh look sanctuaries and conversation conversation i underlined sanctuary and conservation they must be very important words since they look like they're so important i'm going to give them a blue highlight At a special research center, workers, that's easy, keep some pandas in captivity for breeding. Captivity and breeding. When the baby pandas are born, the workers help the mothers to take care of them. They try to teach them how to live in the wild. They don't want the pandas to be too friendly with people. So the workers wear panda costumes. with a combination of conservation, research, science, and some very cute costumes, the Sichuan giant panda sanctuaries are continuing to help to bring giant pandas back into the world. Combination. Okay, now I'm going to write the words I don't know into the note space that I prepared. So now I've written all of the words into my word list. And the next thing I'll do is I'll use a dictionary or I will ask a teacher about these words. And after I do that, I can write down some note here. I'm going to use orange. That's because when I take notes, orange links to the color before it. So if I have blue here and I write in orange, it means that this orange is connected to the last color, which is blue. So endangered means not, not enough animals. Some animals like pandas and uh, rhinos are endangered. There are very few animals and they may disappear. Very few animals left. Um, Fortunately, we use the word fortunately in conversation to say that there's some good luck. For example, we want to have a picnic. Fortunately, it is sunny. So, like, luckily. Conservation. Conservation. Conservation means uh, activities to protect something. We usually use this for nature, but we can say energy conservation, wildlife conservation is protecting animals. So protecting or saving something and wild. 
Wild means in nature. Dogs are not wild, they live with humans. Population. The population is the number of animals. It can also be the number of people. So the population of Mois students is 160. Number of an animal or people. Sanctuary. A sanctuary is a special place for protecting an animal or a person or a thing. So uh, panda sanctuaries are where people practice conservation. A place to protect. Including means putting together with something. So if we if we want to put two things together into one place. Put things things together. A leopard is a big cat. Not like your pet, but a big cat, like a lion or a tiger or a cheetah. Uh, cats with P, C. A big cat. A forest is a place with many trees. Increasing means a rise or to go up. Captivity. When we talk about captivity, we talk about keeping an animal in a cage. So when we have animals in the zoo, they are in captivity. So I'll just draw an icon with a cage and there's an animal in the cage. Captivity. Breeding means to have animals make babies. So when you want to buy a pet dog, you might go to a dog breeder. Making baby animals. And a costume is something that you wear. I think that's easy. And combination means putting things together again. So that's different from including. We said including means putting things together. But we would say students study many subjects at MOIS, including English inquiry, math, and Japanese. Uh, but when we talk about combination, it means putting things together in the same space. So for example, when you make milk tea, it's a combination of milk and tea. Okay, now I've checked the words, so I'm ready to go back and read once more. This time, I'll have my red pen and pink highlighter ready to find the important points. Did you know that almost 7,000 different types of animals are endangered? Wow, that's very, very interesting. When something's interesting, I use a yellow highlighter. Fortunately, there are some amazing wildlife conservation projects around the world. So I think the topic of this is wildlife conservation projects. But this is not about around the world. It's only about China. So I don't think this is the main idea but I think it's the topic. Okay, let's try starting with topics. Topic. Wildlife conservation project in China. Okay. 
Thanks to conservation projects, giant panda, ta, pandas are not endangered anymore, but they still need our help. I think that must be the main idea of this reading. So I'm marking it with pink. There are no, oh, that's right. Come over here. And so now going back to my bridge notes, I'm going to write a nice bridge first. Then We know now that the topic is uh, conservation conservation projects. And what does it say here? Thanks to thanks to conservation projects. That's kind of difficult, isn't it? Thanks to something something. We would say, for example, uh, thanks to my teacher, I could learn how to read English well. Or, thanks to my parents, I have food and shelter. So it shows what helps. But thanks to conservation projects, giant pandas are not endangered anymore, but they still need our help. So I'm gonna write conservation projects help pandas. Okay. There are now 1,800 pandas in the wild. The, pa and the panda population is growing slowly. 30% of the world's population of giant pandas lives in the Sichuan Giant Pandas Sanctuary in China. These sanctuaries are famous for their work with giant pandas and with other endangered animals, including snow leopards and red pandas. So, this says that the, I'm telling, I'm saying that the main point is conservation projects are helping pandas, but pandas still need more help. Why? There are now, and we're using orange because orange again is supporting points, links to the last color. So by using orange here, I show that this orange is linking to this pink. There are only 1,800. When we think of how many other kinds of animals we might have, 1,800 is a very small number. Mm. 1,800. I also read that um, I also read that 30% live in and I can't read this well the Sichuan Giant Pandas Sanctuary. I don't know how to read this, but one of my friends is from China. I will ask her how to read this. 30% live in the Sichuan Giant Panda, Sichuan Giant Panda Sanctuary, Sanctuary. Okay. There are seven nature reserves in a big area of land in the sanctuaries. Here, pandas can live safely. Their favorite food 
bamboo, grows in the forests around the mountains. Okay, so I guess the main point here is that there are some, there are seven nature reserves. Seven nature reserves in the big area of land in the same trees. So, seven reserves. Increasing the giant panda population is a very important part of the sanctuary's conservation work. At a special research center, workers keep some pandas in captivity for breeding. When the baby pandas, when the baby pandas are born, the workers help the mothers to take care of them. They try to teach them how to live in the wild they don't want the pandas to be too friendly to pe with people. So the workers wear panda costumes. That's very interesting. Mm. And what's the important point here? I think the first sentence shows that their work is focused on increasing the panda population. And how do they do that? Well, workers keep some panda, pandas for breeding, making those babies. Okay, so now uh, they want to increase panda population and they have a breeding program with a combination of conservation research science and some very cute costumes the Sichuan giant panda sanctuaries are continuing to help bring the giant pandas back into the wild. Okay. Um, what's the important point here? One, they say cute costumes, very cute costumes, but I don't think it's cute. That's strange to me. But I guess they're using a combination or they're helping. I choose that they are using a combination of conservation, research, and science. The costumes are not cute. Now, I can write that here. Um, combination of conservation research and science okay now I have Okay, so now I have a few things. One, I have a list of words from the reading that might be useful during my discussion. Two, I have highlighted the text so I can easily find the important points. And three, I have some bridge notes about the text. What should I do next to prepare for my discussion? Well, I can look over here at the discussion question. Why do you think the workers 
don't want the baby pandas to be too friendly to peep with people? And I can think about this question. Also, I will have discussions with my classmates. So I want to put some ideas down here before my discussion. Okay, now I have two ideas. My first idea is we can make new sanctuaries in Japan. This idea is important because we don't have pandas in Japan, but this can be a good example. My second idea is we can research why pandas are endangered. That's important because we cannot go here to the sanctuary, but if we can help by understanding why the pandas are endangered, maybe we can change our lifestyles here in Japan. So for both of these, I have some questions. Uh, how How many endangered animals uh, live in Japan? That's one question. And a second question about my second idea is uh, how How many pandas are born each year? Now I'm ready for my discussion, but I don't know if this is the best style for notes for discussion. If you have a good idea for discussion notes, please share them with me in school. See you next time.